Welcome back everyone, this is episode 5 of our van build series. Some of you guys may have noticed we did not put out a video last week, we're very sorry. Yeah, last week we definitely slowed down a little bit on the building side of things and had some more technical figuring things out to do and obviously there's not a whole lot to show with that. Um, but the other thing is that we had kind of one of those weeks last week where we were not really in the mood to film and we have figured out that it is better for us to just not push it when we're really not feeling it because sometimes yeah. we end up getting a little bit frustrated trying to film and get things done in a timely manner. Um, mm -hmm. But we did still film some of it. We installed the skylight, the vent fan, and the solar panel so we got everything done on the roof, on the exterior. Um, obviously we don't want to leave that stuff out so this video will still be a recap of everything that we did. Um, but I felt like some of the footage was missing some pieces of information. So we may just kind of pop in and voice over and make sure you guys have that information and you fully understand what we're doing. And if you guys have any other questions, anything we missed, just leave those questions in the comments. We'll try to answer them to the best of our abilities. If you guys did watch our last video, at the very end we announced uh, that we opened up a couple more spots for client van builds in the spring. and those spots are filling up fast we actually only have one more spot available so if you would like us to build your van in the spring we have our inquiry linked below in the description go ahead and fill one of those out and we will be in contact with you now without further ado let's get on with the video <laughs> Just to give you guys a sneak peek of what the top of the van is going to look like and what we're doing today. We've got three solar panels totaling 480 watts of solar. We've got a massive skylight sitting over the bed for cross ventilation and just tons of natural light. And we've got our fantastic fan up front for when he's cooking or after he takes a shower. As you can see, I've measured out and taped out the cutout for the skylight, uh, making sure it's completely centered and, and square. I'm going to drill some holes and cut it out. Finished cutting the hole for the skylight. I used a jigsaw for the main hole on the roof. After I cut the hole for the skylight, I cut out some reinforcements. Uh, these pieces of wood are actually gonna go underneath in between the skylight and the, their thin metal. Uh, the roof on the transit is not very sturdy, we found out. I can't really walk on it. Uh, it's very flimsy, as you can see. So uh, putting these reinforcements underneath it is definitely gonna help with that. After I cut out the reinforcements, I used this metalworking hammer and a piece of wood underneath here and hammered down any of the spots where the jigsaw pulled up on because we kind of we want a flat, smooth surface. After I hammered all that down, I used this file to file down all the rough edges, any burn that we didn't want. The next step is to clean this surface, get all of the metal shavings out, all the oils cleaned out. Um, after I get everything completely clean, I'm going to use this paint pen, go around all the bare metal edges, uh, seal that up so we don't have no surface rust. After we do our paint, then we can set the skylight in, seal it up, clamp it in, then that is done and we can move on to our vent fan. We don't have the bottom panel clipped in yet, but this is what it looks like from the underside. So we have some wood reinforcements on there and then it just is hooked in with brackets. Obviously there's silicone all around it and I'll show you what the top looks like as well. This is what it looks like from the top side. I'm not sure how well you can see under here, but there's a nice bead of silicone around this whole thing to keep it waterproof. And then, oh, demonstration of how it opens. <laughs> Even without it finished, it already brings so much light into this back area and just makes the whole space feel like 10 times bigger. I love it. Morning. Morning. What are we doing? The water test. The leak test. Explain. We installed our vent fan yesterday. Obviously we installed our skylight a couple days ago. And so now they have each had at least 24 hours for the silicone to completely cure. And now, before we do anything else, we're going to make sure that there is no leaks. Detour from our regularly scheduled program, hey, Joey what? is trying to start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put this in the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
fire didn't work. So we're taking this jar of water and instead of starting a fire, <laughs> we're pouring it on the roof like we were supposed to, Should right? Towels? Probably. Let's hope this works. We didn't show you the install of the fan yesterday, but it basically just goes in pretty similarly to how we did the skylight. You cut the hole, you file the hole, you paint the hole, you put it in, and you seal it. What? Knock if it's leaking. Knock if it's leaking. Got it. The fan checks out. No Ooh. leaks. Good though, no leaks, no leaks at all. Awesome. Are you stoked? Very. Today's goal is to get everything finished on the roof. So all we really have left to do is mount our solar panels and then to attach and seal up our cable entry box. Do you wanna tell them about the solar panels we're using? These 160 watt uh, Renergy. <laughs> Flexible Flexible solar panels. Solar panels. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like two mil. Here, let me show them from the side. Two mil flexible <laughs> solar panels. Wow. I know, I'm jealous. We decided to go with the flexible solar panels for this build because our client is gonna be spending quite a bit of time in the city. So it's just that extra uh, level of stealth. Low profile. Low profile. And we're gonna be putting three of these on here. So we'll have a total of 480 watts of solar. Before we stick these on and install them, we're gonna double check to see if they are performing like they should. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a multimeter, put them out in the sun, and see if it's putting out the right voltage. What is it putting out? 20.7. 20.7 volts. Mm -hmm. You're on volts, right? Yeah. <laughs> 22.1, 22. What you in there? I made a bird poop off of this. <laughs> Already for, got some bird poop. <laughs> yeah, I put it up for five minutes. That must have been that uh, two volt difference, huh? It, it, right there, yeah. <laughs> So the flexible solar panels obviously mount a little bit differently than like the standard rigid ones do. Renogy, which is the company that they're from, actually suggests just using a silicone adhesive or Velcro to put them on the roof. I probably would not suggest Velcro because I feel like that could weaken over time and they would come off. Um, so we're gonna be using this Gorilla construction adhesive. We use this for all kinds of things inside the van as well. Anything that we're not able to actually use like a screw or drill into something. This construction adhesive is one of the best that we've used. I think it's far better than liquid nails. So this is what, what we're gonna be using to attach the solar panels and it's all waterproof and weatherproof and I am pretty confident in its ability to hold those down nice and tight. On top of the construction adhesive, we're also gonna be using this flex tape. It's a rubberized waterproof tape and we're just gonna be putting these around some of the edges of the solar panels to prevent any lifting. If you're going 80 down a highway, you obviously don't want anything to start lifting the solar panels up, so this is gonna help prevent that. I'm trying out a few different places for this cable entry box, and I think the best place for it to go is gonna be right here. It's kind of the most out of the way, most inconspicuous spot I can really find that's gonna work for us. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna drill a hole. Just a very small hole, kind of right where I want it. It's kind of in the center, right there. The reason why I am drilling a small hole right here is so that I can go from underneath the van and drill a bigger hole. This will keep uh, majority of the shavings away, majority of the shavings off the top of the van because I kind of want the least amount of metal shavings on the roof of the van so there's the least chance of rust. Now that that is drilled, Kind of double check that that's right on exactly where I want it. Now I'm gonna go on the bottom, sorry, inside the van and drill a bigger hole. Now we have our cable entry box with our grommets on the front all hooked up. We've got our positive and negative wires ran from up here down through the box, through our little grommet in there. I had Mackenzie label them as I went through as they went through the cable entry box. Now she is ready for silicone. I 
cleaned the entire top of the van. I used some alcohol to get all the oils off and all the dirt off. Uh, wiped down the bottom of the solar panels. So now everything is completely clean. Now we're ready to uh, use some constructed adhesive and actually stick the panels down to the roof. Almost forgot, I should probably hook up the solar panels before I actually glue them down. So I'm gonna hook them all up just like how they would be uh, on the roof before I glue them down, just to make sure all the wiring is the right length and all the connectors work. Well, ran into a little bit of an issue connecting the solar panels. Uh, our cables don't reach each other. Did not think to get uh, solar cable uh, extensions uh, because our solar panels is kind of hooked up together and we didn't really need any extension cords but now we're doing a third panel way over there as you can see this cable is not gonna reach way over there so kind of a bummer we're not gonna get these connected and glued down tonight but uh, I did order some off of Amazon and those are getting here on Monday it is Saturday today and kind of need to get a video out and the Sun is going down so I guess you guys have to tune in next week and see the final product that is going to bring us to the end of this week's video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave us a comment and again if you have any questions about anything that we did today uh, feel free to ask those down in the comments and we will definitely try to address that and don't forget guys we have one more spot for a custom client build uh, if you guys are interested in us building your dream van, we've got a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.